designing with me today. This is our inaugural episode. I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful for my team. And let's just dive right into it. Today I have the most amazing guest, Tracy from the WPIC. If you don't know what it is, it's the Wedding Planners Institute of Canada. She is the bomb. She knows everything there is to know about weddings and events. So let's give her a big hug, air hug, Tracy. Yay. I mean, we're being safe, so we're going to do the Thank air you. hug, mwah, 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 air hug. And um, um, I'm so thankful that you would do this. Thank you so much for being I'm here. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So as you guys know, and as you know, Trace, what we're doing here is we're going to be doing some um arrangements so awesome. each and every episode we're going to be doing arrangements some sort of arrangement some sort of floral element uh, right now the big trend is is mini kind of intimate weddings and events so that's what we're going to focus on right now um, before I want to give you kind of like the rundown of how we're going to do the show is that I'm just going to quickly super quick because uh, I don't want to get my guests all bored. Um, I just want to run down what we're going to be using and what we're going to be doing. And then Tracy's going to go in and talk to me about all the wonderful things that are happening at okay. the WPAC and everything. Um, so I will, because the trend is now going more and you would, I mean, you told me that that's kind of like how it's going because when we had our live, remember, right. yeah. Um, so uh, Tracy was saying, and we do see a lot of intimate weddings mm -hmm. and events, and I wanted to kind of create a very beautiful small mini arrangements that you could place, you can create many of them or just one of them and just enjoy it at your house. I picked um, a couple of like pastel um, flowers for you. I mean, what is your favorite, Trace? I love them all. You love them all. <laughs> all right. So I never uh, even knew this one existed, the asparagus. Yes, so, it's the yeah. asparagus greenery. It's really stunning. It's very airy and um, I just love it. Yeah, very tickle tickle kind of kind of vibe. Um, so I will be using today large hundrangeas. I will be using mini hundrangeas for their garden look. I will be doing some spray roses. Not I, but we will be designing. We'll be designing with this gorgeous O'Hara garden rose. And oh my God, Trace. Those okay. are stunning. I mean, smell this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh yeah, so fragrant. It's so, it's like literally perfume, I'm telling you. That's then beautiful. we're gonna have some dusty, ro dusty um, oh my God. Can you imagine how many greenery and flowers I have to remember? Uh, this is the Dusty Miller. We have the uh, White Lizzie, beautiful peonies, and the asparagus, like we said. So um, the one thing that I really wanna do is that I believe that all of us are artists. And I hmm. know, hey. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I do want to say though, that as much as, you know, how I see it, right. it doesn't, you can see it, but then you will feel differently when you touch it and feel it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, like, I want you to grab a flower. Okay. Grab whatever you want. And I want you to know that flowers, one of the reasons why I love flowers, honestly, is because they're like babies. They're resilient. Right. There is you can like touch them, mm -hmm. feel them, squeeze them, like smell them, hug them. You know all of that. Like I just I just love that. So Gorgeous. um um that's why don't be like afraid. Okay, if one mm -hmm. cracks, big deal. Like you know like that. So be totally this comfortable. You. And what I want to do is slowly, I want you to kind of take control, feel the vibe, and do your thing. And then if I see something. I will let you know. Oh, you better. Okay. All right, all right. Um, I do want to say that being a floral designer, I do use the um, Oasis floral products, mm -hmm. and it's not sponsored, but because I just, I, I use a lot of products. And when you go for them, you know what's good, and I really love their products. So that's what we're going to be using today for the Oasis and for the cutters. I just love them. You have a little bit of your paper towel here, just in case you want to, you know, you don't okay. want to get dirty. So you're going to just wipe your hands and then. Let's just dive in. Let's just do our thing. Um, if you have any questions, you tell me. But I am going to go and start 
designing. Okay, and so I'm going to follow you. Yeah, and okay. you can start doing, like, you can start filling it in with some greenery. You can do hydrangeas, and I can kind of give you tips and tricks along the way. Okay, I'm fascinated by florals, so this is something I really want to be learning, so. All right, let's do it. Okay, so tell me. Yes. This is COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, what's happening with weddings and events? Well, pretty much they're just starting back up again. And yeah. so we're seeing a lot of the micro weddings. So how, smaller. How um, big yes. should this be? Like, so right now we're doing, so you said micro weddings. Yeah. So smaller weddings, 10 people, 20 people, long tables. Yeah, or the round tables, yeah. or however you're going to be doing it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely a lot smaller at this time. We're still in stage two and hopefully going into stage three for the GTA very soon. So right now it is at the 30% maximum capacity for inside a venue. Yes. You can have, thank you, you can have um, 50 people outdoors for a ceremony, but mm -hmm. still 10 people for a re seated reception, etc. Hopefully that's going to open up soon and you'll be able to have the 50 people indoors and then the 100 outside, which is going to open up for so many more families and Absolutely. the couples. And for us as yeah. the, in the wedding industry, it's going to change our lives again, right? That's because it's been it's very been difficult for a lot of for people. For many months now, yes, yeah. I know. Um, so can I tell you something about the hydrangeas? Okay. It's really funny because you either love it as a flower or you love it as a filler. So I use it for both. Okay. So for example, see how I started low and you started high? Yes. Okay, the reason why, because I wanted to, so you can still have it lower, mm -hmm. but just like you need to know how to, like how are you gonna use it? Do you gonna use it as a flower or as a filler? So if your other flowers are gonna go around, that's totally cool, but just make it a little bit lower. Okay, so, yeah. sounds good. So right now, what are we at for um, how, how big your wedding is? So if I have 300 people wedding. It's not happening right now, that's oh, wow. for sure. So right now you are allowed 50 people outdoors and 30% inside. So if you have, that is gonna change. So yeah. it is coming. It's just, it's affecting for a lot of people for their out of town guests, yes. for all kinds of stuff. It's just so disheartening for couples. and Yes, but do you find that, um, so let's, I guess, back it up a bit. So you are the co-owner, um, your sister and you own um, the uh, institute. Yes. And you certify wedding planners. And that's how actually we met. Yes. Oh my goodness. And I remember you sitting at the back of the, I remember that. I was you at the T. back. Scarborough. Yeah, you're on the side, on the side, all you're right. in the middle. Yep, I remember all it all. All right, so I was you're in the back, up here oh. on this side. I remember. Okay. All right, did I give you attitude? Absolutely. No, no okay. not at all. No, no, okay. Not at all. Okay, so um, where are we gonna put this arrangement? Let's think kind of that way. So you're gonna put this arrangement in a small gathering, intimate mm -hmm. gathering. So you always have to think kind of this way. What is your flower that's the most important and what is your flower that's least important? And also please use the hydrangea as like just see spread how, it out. Yeah, more. and you see okay. how it's like hair? Yep. I always say hydrangea is like Merlin Monroe's hair. Okay. They just kind of go like this. You know, so down. so the trick is, you know mm -hmm. what the trick is, is to use it as a, like, like put, put something in between. Yes, yes, oh, to use it okay. as like a awesome. thing. And with your bigger, taller, longer flowers, yep. use it as a, like a direction. Okay. So now you created well, this then direction. I'm plot something in there. You know, you have like a direction going, which right. is amazing. So now keep filling here and here. I love where okay. you're going with it. Awesome. Um, okay, so I was in the back of the class, so I was like that, I see, but I think I passed the class, right? <laughs> I think so, I don't remember, but yes. Well, it did take a few times, but Yes, yeah. oh my God, you're so mean. <laughs> um, okay, and so right now, I mean, but, okay, so let's take it seriously though. Um, are you really telling me that people are going to go with masks to weddings and everybody's going to kiss and hug with masks? We're really going to have to have proper protocols in place and be really st uh, stringent. So each individual company, so the government has their protocols in place. Yes. So we have to be following that. The venue is going to have their own protocols in place as well. Yes. And there are safety guidelines and for cleaning, disinfecting, etc. And then your own individual company has to make your own and create your own yes. protocols and guidelines as well. So you're working with all three. So you wanna make sure when you're going in, if you're working a wedding with the venue, yes. you're going in understanding what the venue needs, having your, your backup plan, having your safety plan in place ahead of time, having a couple of meetings, 
Then you're telling the couple, getting the couple to be notifying with the guests, you and your team are gonna be there. Wow. Having hand sanitizer, all that yes, kind of great stuff. Yes, yes. How are you gonna be handling washrooms? How are you gonna be, that's there's right. so many things to worry about now. Yeah, well that's the thing, because a lot of people are eliminating dancing. Yes. But if well, there is no dancing, they're... you're gonna go to the bathroom, you're gonna go to the bar, how does No, but this... you see what they're talking about? They're putting little squares, they can put tape Oh, square down. dancing, yeah, so right on. Yeah, so you have your own little spot and you can groove on like that. That's. They're totally doing that. Yes. So everybody has their own little space, and yes. so you can still do it, uh, especially for first dance, that kind yes. of thing. Um, there might be a lot more cocktail stand-up receptions as opposed to yes. for yes. a little bit. Yes, yeah, more like a luncheons, kind of luncheons, dining, yeah. instead of sitting. Because I'm like, you're going to take an eight-foot table or, you know, a ten-people round table and put, what, like, for people at it, like that's crazy. And doing your own bubbles. So you yeah. need your family bubble or your close friends and family yeah. bubbles at each one. And wow. even for ceremony, the guidelines, you still want to be seated with your family and then spacing them apart for the next one. It's, yeah, it's gonna go crazy. Um, let's see. Also, I have another trick. Do you want okay. to show you yes, something? Okay, yes, please. Okay, so you see how in my hundrangea, <laughs> what, look how what, much what, yours looks what I did. So okay. if you look at the hundrangea, it has like, it's like a, like a broccoli. Okay. Like, you know, like yes. a broccoli. So what you can do is you can take the um, the middle broccoli out, okay, or this one out. And what creates you 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 make it skinnier or mm -hmm. you make it more the shape that you want right. to to guide yourself to where you want it. Now you don't throw these away. You just trim them, and you just fill wherever it is that you need to fill. I mean, you don't need to fill much, but like for example here. You can oh, kind of yeah, just I like fill that. it like that. And gives it also dimension, right? Because you okay. go high, low, out, in, kind so of like that. So which one would you recommend taking so out of sometimes, that one? Yeah, sometimes I okay. even like just trim here. Because this is a little bit too big. So yeah. let's say you will trim this out and you create more. Oh, that's brilliant. Like, see how it's airy? Yes. It's like more that airy kind of like that? everything. Yeah. Okay, now so I want this one too. Okay. Oh, yeah. So okay. this is the asparagus. Again, I, told, I talked about it. I just love it. It also so cool because you can create a direction with it. Like, it, obviously, if you put it this way, all of a sudden you're leaning over, right? Kind of, so, yes, flowers are magic. What can I say? Um, and um, so tell me about, um, you know, just so much. You know so much about weddings and events. I just want, like, a penny for your thought of everything that's happening right now. So what about getaway weddings? What's happening with them? Destination weddings, all that stuff. Destination weddings, well, that's still a little bit tricky right now. Yes. Um, a lot of people are postponing, obviously, going to 2021. Yes. Some resorts, some venues are open in other countries. Some people are allowing you to be flying in. Yes. Uh, the problem is, you're, are you going to have to be quarantining when you're there for the 14 days? What about after? What you're going to come back and you're going to quarantine it, yourself Absolutely. After? So yeah. Canada is still saying that we yeah. have to. Yeah. Um, yeah, some places they're doing all the temperature checks before you get on. Yeah. All that kind of thing. I just think it's going to be now the guests might be a little more hesitant as well about to traveling. Come or so go, yeah. If Especially you really want that destination wedding, you're going to make it happen. Yeah. But maybe half well, of the guests won't be coming. Yeah, because then the guests are going to be their working personnel, their working people. Are they going to go and stay quarantined after, right? For two Absolutely. weeks and not go to work, right? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. But and then can you be doing the same things when you're on location if you're going to Mexico or Jamaica? Can you still be doing the off-site things? Or are those things still open um, for tours, for a different kind of... Yes. Yeah, you have to consider all of that. Um, also, you're doing... Um, I saw you rotating. So that's the great thing about um, arrangements that you can rotate them. And the reason why you also need to rotate them is because the arrangements are going to be looked at from both sides, right? Right. So, yeah. You know what's funny? I love funky things like that. Like literally, if it was like, like I mean, yours looks so good. Like I would just like go artsy like that, you know. And that's what that's what I'm saying. You gotta follow your intuition, girl. Well, I'm following my intuition, but just it's kind of going out the window here. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay, I like these flowers. Okay, good. Those are the spray roses. Those are beautiful. So those actually. are the mini little so itty bitty this little guy out. baby roses. And don't okay. be afraid to go low, and then out. And I always say that, you know, honestly. Should I make it lower? I love. First of all, okay. <laughs> She's like, what have you done to my flowers? Why don't you oh, sorry. Why don't you put it in between the hand ranges, right? Okay. So now that's kind of like peeking out, right? Like, ta-da, it's peeking out. Okay, I'm we try also, that over here I too. also cut a little bit of uh, Dusty Miller for you here. Okay. 
and you can like totally squeeze them in. So that's too high. See how oh, you yeah. know, you're telling me that it's too high. Look at you. Well, because I know you're going to say that to me next, so. I just, I, honestly, I, I always. I like that. Here, you put that's this very one. Pretty. I always, okay. I always said that flowers are like diamonds and flowers. I guess, no, it would be like diamonds, flowers, and time, luxuries. Time we don't have, honestly, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we don't have time, nobody has time. Diamonds are diamonds, <laughs> you know, no explanation needed there. Um, and flowers, you buy them, but you know that they're gonna make you feel good. Oh, absolutely. And um, actually, isn't there like a scientific, there's like a scientific, um, scientific paper that came out, there was a whole study that um, flowers do make you feel good. Like actually, they were saying like at old age home, Right. Um, that when they were, yeah, they were um, bringing flowers that people were feeling much better and stuff. That makes but, total sense. Right? Yeah. I love having them on my dining room table. I really do. I just. What is your favorite flower? <clears throat> for smelling or for looks? I love lilacs and I love roses. Those oh, are my. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the tiger lilies, the big ones? Yes. 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 Absolutely love. Yes. No, so beautiful. Yeah. It just makes me feel happy. And then I can smell, like this beautiful smelling one. Oh my goodness. That yeah, is the, insane. I know. But also, <sighs> can I just tell you something? Yeah. So I've noticed you've been picking up and down, up and down. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are using the Oasis. Okay. It has water in it. Yes. When you cut the flower here, mm -hmm. it has pores. When you put it in like this, now the pores are filled. You cannot put it back in. You have to cut it up because now oh, brand shoot. new pores okay. yep. be able to drink all the water, okay? Okay. So be good to your flowers. All right. Now should I be pulling this down each one? Like how far? Actually, what you're doing now, uh -huh. what, you know what it's called, right? No. It's called. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, actually this has started years back, but basically you can do it to any rose. And what that is called, it's called reflexing. So you're okay. reflexing the rose. Right. I mean, you could have a rose that just makes it so much totally bigger. different. Yeah, and it's like looks like a peony. Forget oh, that. Stunning. You're just completely relaxing it, and you reflex, reflexing okay. the petals back, and creating like a whole new flower. Now you know another trick because you know I'm full of them. But um, so you know how you see this rose, right? So you look at this rose. Mm -hmm. Usually the roses are full, but if you want to make a regular rose to look like a garden rose, you literally take the inside like this. Oh. And then the little little thing that comes right. out of here, it looks like a garden oh, rose. That's, can I try that? Yes, that is of course. amazing. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. And here. it gives you like a different look. So there you go. Ta-da. There you go. So don't tell me oh, I didn't teach you anything. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I'm fascinated by flowers and people who put flowers together are geniuses and florists I have such high respect and admiration for. It's not, I'm fascinated by it. It's something I want to learn. That's yeah. oh, well, and you're keep in the growing. Right, and you're in the right place. So just right out of the middle, I just take a chunk. Kinda. Yes, you okay. in the middle, you just take and you expose the seeds. Okay. And oh yeah, flowers have movement. Flowers have feelings. Treat them nice, and they will. It, that's how I look at it. Um, okay. So I know that you've been talking. So mm -hmm. how about you tell me about uh, um, the institute? Tell me what is happening. What's new? What's exciting? What's on the horizon? What's going on? Well, I think during this time we have had a lot thrown at us as people, as the human race in the yeah. wedding industry and everything yeah. with all different kinds of things going on. I think there's a new respect for people that maybe wasn't there before and maybe being more mindful yes. and paying attention, which should always have been there in the first place. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, then people's companies are growing and learning and doing better. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna come out of this better, stronger, better people, better business people, and yep, kinder, right? Yes. It I absolutely brought us down do. so we can yes. rise back up, right? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. And what? how does it relate to uh, the Wedding Planner Institute of Canada? How are we, are you? I think that with all the things going on right now, like with Black Lives Matter, can we get into that oh, a little of course, bit? yeah. That's yeah. just something, Canada, we think that we're so, super on top of it and so awesome. Everybody can learn, everybody can grow, do mm -hmm. more, be more, mm -hmm. et cetera, and mm -hmm. learn from it. Yes. So it's helping us be more mindful. We, we asked different questions for our alumni and some of the feedback that we got was, we have open calls for submissions for our blog, submissions for articles, et cetera. 
but something that really stood out was when we're asking people in regards to Black Lives Matter, they're saying, why aren't you specifically asking for black couples? Why aren't you specifically asking for mm -hmm. um, an article on the way people feel on that? And we're like, oh yeah, like I never even thought about that. But you know, I, I, I we don't, don't wanna... We felt like we didn't have to do yeah. that, but we do. Yeah, I guess, but you know what I wanna say about it? I always was a very big advocate of that, um, um, of um, uh, love wins. Right. Okay. Yes. And that love is love. Yes. And that love wins, regardless of what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. So when you come and question me, like why, you know, I deal with so many multiracial couples, mm -hmm. uh, and we all weddings. That's what weddings are. Love yes. is love, and love is it. And there's no race or color um, uh, to uh, our, uh, I guess. You know, to our weddings, there there is no color to our weddings. So um, I just feel like that's to us was kind of like a duh. Obviously, we, we that's, think that. Yes. But are we showing it enough? Are we showing that we're open to all and appreciating every single person that's out there and every yes, I don't know every little union that's out there. Can we do more? Of course, everybody yes. can learn and do more. And yes. I, I just take it as a learning curve. Yes. That's, and that's kind of where WPIC stands for, kind yeah. of at right now. Absolutely, we can always grow from it and be better Beautiful. and do better. Okay, let me see where you at, girl. All right. You're gonna add some greenery now to kind of add it a volume okay. and add a different. Beautiful. Um, is it really? Uh, listen. <laughs> Now, listen, this is nice and low. You have your beautiful, I would add just a tiny little bit something here. Okay. Maybe a little bit even of like a direction in the greenery right here. Because as you put, it's yep. very... Oh, I like it's that. It's singing, it's singing. See how it's talking on its own. I'm telling you, like, you just listen to, it's like the flower I whisperer. I love it. Yes. You just whisper and you just add a little bit of kind of a movement, that's right? That's a great new hashtag for you. Oh. Yes, the flower whisperer. <laughs> That's who I am. Um, and um, let's see. So then you just kind of go by it. And you just rotate and you see, okay, what am I missing? If people are sitting here, what are they seeing? a little seeing? bit more yeah, floral so, here. Yeah. I, it's also kind of like, what do you have? You have a lot mm -hmm. of roses, you have a lot of hydrangeas. Okay, maybe we'll put a little bit more of the peonies, a little bit more color. Also, don't be afraid to use the floral greenery. Like, the hun like for example, okay. the actual greens off of the flowers. That's what I keep taking. Okay. Yeah, yep. and I know people are like, That's oh, smart. green. Yeah. The reason why it's so good when you mm -hmm. come and you have your bouquet from the grocery store and you get rid of the greens, yes, because mm -hmm. they create mold if they're right. in water. But here they create more beauty than anything. And it fills it too, right? Yeah. Yes. Maybe we'll go a little bit low, just oh. so you can create a little bit. Okay. Peonies kind of the same, and then you just like rotate, and you create kind of like this completely airy botanical organic look. Now, one of the things that also, when you look at it, there's a big polka dot here, yes. which is your hydrangea. So remember how I said you can break it up with either. Um, okay, so still do. With something, yeah. So should I cut some more, or just you want me to throw that in there? Uh, no, you can just you can also kind of kind of hold it and see. Let's see. see I would never let's, think of this on like, my own. You so. can you can kind of trim it a bit, okay. make it a little bit less. Look, that's why I said don't be afraid of it. It's not gonna bite I'm you, afraid. girl. I'm afraid you're gonna judge me. And, and no, no, I'm never gonna. I'm not a <laughs> judgeful person. You're gonna put it right inside the hydrangea. It smells so good. Okay. And you're gonna let it go like this. So what are these ones called again? Those are lisianthus. Oh, so Those pretty. are the white lisianthus. Yeah. See, you can create a direction with them oh, a little yeah. bit. Uh, maybe I'm not for sure of that. All right. Maybe one more peony. Oh, see, I always do everything with my hands. Don't use tools. Here, take this okay. peony and put it right here so it will come out like this beautifully. Um, let's see. Oh, my arrangement. Like that? Yes. Okay. You know the old school way, it actually kind of taught you to go by threes. So you would always do, mm -hmm. you would go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Like it'll always go the odd numbers. Right. So it'll go threes, fives, and you know, sevens and things like that. Um, but now I think you go by feelings. So like right. if you like it there, like if you felt like it should go there, it's Just such an artistic way. Um, flowers make people feel so it should always end on that note. You know, it should always end on a positive, beautiful, organic note. It's all about, yeah, the artist within. I know it Amazing. sounds super cheesy. I don't care because it's true. So 
that's all I have to say to that. Okay, what do you think of this little thing at the end? See, here? like yours is gorgeous. Like that's what okay. I mean. Okay. But you know, not but. I, 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 I didn't have a but. I said a but because it was automatic, but it's not. I really, really loved it. But you I would do. prefer it where? No, 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 no. I totally love it. No, I totally love it because imagine it at the table. Imagine right. it at the table. Like, look how gorgeous this is. Let's let's show. Let's show. Like, look how beautifully stunning this is. How how organically and you you always kind of have to think where it's gonna go. Right. This is an intimate wedding. Mm -hmm. This is an intimate celebration. You will come and you will have your intimate florals. You're gonna have some candles right here. People are gonna be dying in front of it. People are gonna be eating in front of it, talking over it. This is this is the this is where we add. We're coming back to the to the good feeling. I'm always coming back to that. But um, I know that you wanted to talk about a new course that you have. Oh yeah, at the W. So exciting. Tell me, tell me. It's Here. coming out in October. All right. Talk so we are working very hard this summer, which has given us time to do it. Actually, yes. Uh huh. Um, we're planning. We're going to be introducing a style shoot course. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. So we're really excited about that. So just learning the tips and tricks and things to be doing and working yes. with teams and yes. So we're really, really excited so, about that. So, I mean, tell me, so when I was doing your course, I was uh, doing it just so that I can gain more knowledge, but uh, people actually take your course so that they can become certified wedding planners. Right. And in that case, when you're brand new, you don't know anything. So what you offer, tell us what you so offer. So even if you are coming in already in the industry, etc., yes. it's getting you set on track and getting proper laws and legalities and things you should know going into it, how to run a business properly, which you might not have considered before. It's not all just pretty fluff and there's things to consider, things to yes. worry about. Yes. Um, setting up your business properly, what kind of business you're going to be doing. Is it sole proprietor? Is it incorporation? Is it partnership? However, you're going to be doing wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Regulations behind it, etc. And then just having a network to connect and talk with and be able to run ideas off of each other. Yes. And because that's I love the networking with WPC. Yes. But being able to pick I, your brains. Yeah. But once yeah. we do the sh once we do the um, uh, the course, I know that you offer uh, um, kind of like a way that you can do uh, the photo shoots with you. So that course would yeah. be amazing for somebody who doesn't have any content, who Absolutely. doesn't know how to do it. They'll take it and then they just run with it, right? Yep. That's Absolutely. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Because there's, it's very hard to get content for your social media right yeah, now. Social and you media. know if you're not there, yes. you're, you don't exist really, right? So that's, that's, right. that's the problem. All right. So. How happy are you with your arrangement, girl? I'm kind of happy, but not when it's beside yours. Oh, but stop, stop, I kind of love stop. it, but. So basically, so let's say right now, we're having this beautiful dinner party, mm -hmm. and we have all these people near us, or we're setting up the table, and we're putting them what, a couple feet apart, and you have a long party. I mean, look at that, that is so, that's, alternating organically beautiful arrangement i am so proud of you oh thank you i'm so it. proud of you thank i love you it so i love that they look beautiful being here this is the most amazing first episode thank you for being here with us if you want to watch us again you please subscribe down below as well as tracy i know you want to tell us where to follow you and where are you located on all the social networks Okay, sure. So we're the Wedding Planners Institute of Canada, otherwise known as WPIC. You can find us at WPIC.ca and WPIC Inc. on Instagram and everything else. Beautiful. That's perfect. Please uh, come back because our next guest is Crazy Diva and I cannot wait to have her on our show. So I will see you soon. Stay cool. <laughs> Mother <laughs> Mother fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. hell. Fucking okay. I know, I totally like fucking. <laughs> I, I just fucking. <laughs> Hold on. It's like enough of you. <laughs> You've like, been here long enough. <laughs> My husband said to pretend that the president was calling in those calls. I want to do the kisses all the time. That's my thing. I decided. Are you going to fix that ring? Woo! How long does it take you to straighten your hair? And it's a pain in the... You come out of the shower with your right. hair. Yep. You literally do this the whole towel thing. Go like... Yep. One last time. Let's go. Hurrah! Yeah! Oh, this is what I'm left with. I just want to punch you back or something. <laughs> <laughs>
Like energy ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. What the heck are you doing? You'd be like, <laughs> do it all Take over it again. Back. <laughs>